This is the Eoshin X5 uh, power bank. Uh, this is a uh, 13,000 uh, milliamp charger. This is the largest charger that I currently own. Uh, and with that, I mean, it's a little thicker and heavier than the 10,000 milliamp that I own, but that's expected, you know, considering uh, it's a little bit higher capacity device. You know, unlike some of the other uh, power banks that I have that are solid metal cases, Eoshin kind of goes with a combination metal around the edges and plastic top and bottom. And not that that's a bad thing, it seems to be uh, well made in, in a durable device, uh, solid. Uh, included with the uh, X5 is the instruction manual warranty card and uh, about a one foot uh, micro charging cable. Uh, I do wish the cable was a little bit longer, but this seems to be kind of the thing for power banks. They tend to provide you a short power cable. And the other thing is the manual uh, is one of the smaller types that uses small print, which I kind of hate because it just makes it hard to read. Although this is relatively uh, easy to use, I do wish they would, the manufacturer would stop with these small print manuals. And it's not just... Yashin doing it, it's several other manufacturers as well. Um, the X5 here comes with two charging ports, one 2 amp, one 1 amp, uh, so you can charge two different devices at one thing at one time. The one thing I don't understand with this though is why they don't label the ports uh, on the device itself. It's in the instructions which is which, but I don't understand why they don't label them if they're going to have two different types of charging ports instead of uh, you know two you know smart charging ports I really don't understand that at all so I don't like that particular pick uh, particular design uh, what I consider a design flaw uh, uh, the device charges fairly quickly itself uh, it, it charges most devices fairly efficiently you know I, I tried uh, again, I throw everything I have at it. Uh, unfortunately for this device, the, it would not charge uh, the BlackBerry phone that I have. It charged everything else except uh, a BlackBerry phone, um, which kind of will drag down this rating as well. Um, there is a, I want to show you before I forget, there is a, a power button here that kind of, if you hit it, it lights up. And I, that's a little hard to see on the screen. But it lights up the uh, the green LEDs on the top. That 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 I do like this part of it, the design. It's not a real bright LED, but it indicates the level of charge that the battery has and uh, the amount of charging it has left in it when you're when you're charging a device. I do like that feature. Um, you know, it does go quite a way since it's a higher capacity uh, battery backup before having to recharge it, which works like all of these do. You plug in the micro USB cable and, and into a, a wall charger or your computer port. Um, does have good circuit protection. Comes with a two-year warranty, which is good in this case for these devices. Uh, and, I, you know, overall, this is a solid, well-built device. Uh, and, I, and I like some design aspects of it. Uh, however, you know, for me, the lack of labeling the ports and the device's inability to charge some older devices kind of dragged the rating down for me a little bit. I give it four stars.